Hello everyone. Now that the season six playoffs has started, it is finally time to show a couple of games on the last day on my climb to the playoffs. And I have, as I've mentioned, it was literally the last last slot of um, the day of the season. And um, you know my uh, family has got gone to take their nap, and I had literally one hour, hour and a half to play a few games. Uh, I need a three or four wins. I can't remember what I needed, but you know, being totally distracted and and uh, being <laughs> very anxious. Uh, my first match was completely off now the reason why i said it's completely off is because of the state of mind i was in and probably i was delirious i i don't know but anyways i let, I let you see i'm not <clears throat> you you once you see what i what i'm talking about then it kind of makes sense but i put fail here it was against robif um pretty standard um you know the match at least that's what i thought so i went ahead and ban rose and seal first i got juggler ban so you know they went because the 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 my opponent has actually one two and three tanks so that's why i banned the healer first and the opponent picked the uh young just uh tensei jessica lighter light of genesis and of course I picked my, uh, I banned the other two healers that he had left, and then I picked my tank, and opponent banned my, what? Banned my tank? What? I just, didn't I just pick my Hilda? I was like, oh my god, I, either I was still sleeping, or I don't know what the hell has happened, but apparently, <laughs> the pink hair has completely threw me off, and I think I, I thought I picked Hilda, but I end up heal, uh, picking Rosen Seal instead, and of course at that point I have no tank. Uh, my opponent does, and it didn't turn out well at all. Didn't because I I just was completely cut off guard. I was like I wasn't prepared, and so what I, I was trying to hope to do is pick some of the longer legs to compensate for it, but unfortunately I just really didn't have the counter i mean look at their teams a full glory team here with the tank doesn't he doesn't really need a healer because he can just march forward and can just kind of run me over and i even end up i think giving him was it reen yeah reen so yeah it didn't turn out well i'm not going to play the game um I, I had double healers i if 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 my player my my, my opponent was a bad player I may have won, but obviously, you know, when you get to the Langrisser rank uh, and everyone's going for the, the, you know, shooting for the playoffs, you know, my opponents are strong. So I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to tell you right now, I got crushed, uh, very devastated. So I went backwards at this point. And I was like, man, how, how am I gonna, even going to get close? Now I only have another hour, if that many, to try to make the playoffs. But um, as you can see here, I was able to win one, two, three, four games in a row after that to barely make playoff with 1,990 points. And all my opponents was, uh, I think I got lucky with these them two because I don't think they were... Uh, part of the playoff uh, matches, you know, fighting for the playoffs. I think they were either go one or whatnot. But I did play against Duck Meat and Joshua, very strong opponents. I found out later Duck Meat was actually piloted by Kazakao, and Joshua was actually piloted pilot pilot. Yeah, excuse, I can't even speak. Was played by. Dango. So let's take a look at these two games because they were a bit more exciting, very RNG base. But I think at this point, RNG is what really makes the difference, especially with um, with this one. This one was like totally RNG. 
So we both ban Rosenseal first. I went with Juggler. So I want to go in with AoE. And he first picked Green. So my guess is that he, well, he did have three tanks. So, right? Yeah, he had three tanks. So I, w I went with Green as well because we did both sides ban Rosenseal. So I, I kind of figured that's what he was going to do. Then he picked a, a faction buffer. I got rid of long legs and assassin. I picked my Zarita, hoping to snipe somebody. He picked Liana, great for second player for the act again. For some strategic play. I got Ares, but it's not really a great pick just for the fact that he did he did have o, an Olandius, so he's going for the double AOE, maybe a triple AOE, AOE with Liana. That's my guess, and I even gave him um, Florentia, which is a bad mistake. So that's double again, double AOE to t potentially four AOE in a row. So you know, I mean, my opponent definitely has the advantage being second player, double again. Dub, you know, for four AOEs in one turn. Um, however, like I said, this game I think I want wholly with RNG, and you'll see what happened here. So we both kind of set up in the beginning. I did have faction buff for Zarita, so in the very beginning I was fishing for a, a breeze, if I remember correctly, but I did not get it. Did not get it. So free for breeze, and unfortunately didn't get it. And of course, now I went back to faction buff, and now I got a breeze waste. So opponent completely kind of blocks off my path. For Eri, so I have to relocate, and this is when the opponent decided to take advantage of the agains. So I went in, jump in, to kind of separate my team a little bit, so I don't get AOE, you know, entirely. But he was right back up, and. Yep, double AoE incoming. So Reen coming in. That's bad right there. A lot of debuffs. This is I was a little weird thinking why would he AoE me like that instead of just attacking me regular? But he did clock, so it didn't matter. So he was still giving me a lot of debuffs. But this means I was able to sleep. He's Reen because I was the most dangerous target. I took another AoE. It's still alive, but Bozo is near death. He made a mistake here. At least I felt he made a mistake here. The reason why, and I clocked, so that's RNG, good RNG on my side. But the reason why is if he AoE me here, if he stayed here, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. One two, one two, three four five. No, actually, it does, because that if, because he moved here, my Reen was able to AOE every single person. He moved back here, so that means my Reen was able to hit the entire team, every single one of them, except for the Angel, but the entire team. And I even <laughs> so he healed backed up, but because it was a heal block on. Green, I wasn't able to kill him off, and I I think I end up killing myself. Another good RNG on my saw um, the armor proc. Okay, so I was able to finish Green off here, and another armor proc. So I'm st still in the game. More AOE coming my way, and I think this is when we kind of killed off yeah all my characters, but my bozo lived. So that was perfect because that gave me my last 
AoE before he died. A lot of debuffs on him, as you can see. He's taking, and then because I clocked earlier, I was able to do it. And and the, someone died, I was able to 3C again. And this is perfect because now Liana died, Angel died, and then Juggler coming in, finishing off Bozo. So I completely turned the game around based on RNG. That one clocked from Reen basically won me the game. Other if not, I would have completely like lost very badly. But hey. That's why we pick green, right? For the RNG aspect of it. You never know what's going to happen. He could have gone either way because he had green as well. So let's take a look at the last game. And the last game, and it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Um, the reason why I say it's funny is because I play against Joshua who is who was actually played by Dango. Now, if I remember correctly, one of my video when I was making my way to Langrister rank, the last person I fought was Manson, who was also played by <laughs> Dango. And now this is the last match before I made the playoffs. Uh, although it's a different account, it is <laughs> Dango again. So um, thank you, Dango, for being nice and letting me win. Um, but I think this one... Thank, it was thanks to Betty and some RNG aspect on my side as well. Uh, and, and I'll exp uh, I can't explain why when we get there. Because I was definitely in a losing battle. But when it gets to these type of matches, it's very easy to win or lose based on RNG. So because my opponent had, if I remember correctly, one, two tanks. Uh, he did have one, two, three healers. I decided to ban Rose and Seal because I wanted to use Reen if possible. Again, I I did had to be a little bit afraid of the assassins. She can also be sort of assassin, and so can he. So he has a lot of dangerous characters here. A lot of dangerous characters, and Hilda buffs a lot of them. Right one. Two, three, four, five. So a lot of Tensei characters as well. So he probably saw that. That's why he banned Marine and of course Lali just right away. First pick Liana. So I was a little thrown off by that, but I did want to get rid of SP Sigma. I didn't want to deal with them. Get rid of Juggler. Pick Lic Licorice. Of course, then Luna and Bozo got banned fairly quickly. Pick Hilda, remaining tank. I got rid of the new heroes, the overpower ones. Pick Zarita, hoping to snipe something. And I get my long leg, and, it, and then he picked Warner. So, to basically, Warner can lock Zarita out. Uh, I'm not sure what else to pick, so that's the only DPS I have left. So, I went with Betty. And then, of course, um, my healers got banned, pick Yulia, and then the only really real choice I have is Diana, which is still a good pick. And of course, it's gonna pick, um, I would say Florence, yeah, makes sense for the double egg, double again, very strong. So both sides move toward each other. And we want to sort of Buffing up, he's gonna get to a point where he's gonna completely block me off. I was fishing for Breeze here, and nope, of course, I didn't get it. So I wasn't too quite sure why. He did that because Warner is naturally five movement, so giving rush on a five movement technically does nothing. But I'm I'm not sure what happened there. So that was a little puzzling. Getting ready. 
Fastball on it's a three um three is a teddy bear fastball on Yulia. So with Werner using this and getting a breeze, it just completely locks out Zarita. So Zarita can no longer hide and seek basically. Changing to horse to counter Betty, who is a sword. Um, not sure why he used Ludia here, but I was this allowed me to take off one life. But I think it didn't really matter because I, even though I did that, he just came back again, and now I'm in trouble. So I was taking a risk. And I'm gonna show you something very disappointing in a second. So Betty did her job, took off some life off of Florencia. Sudden strike on here, so so double again, right? Liana again, Florencia again, and this is where it's very disappointing. So I thought I had a kill there, at least that's what I thought. And look at how much life that was, 143 life, 1%. That is like, I was just so devastated. I was like, no freaking way, I thought I had that kill. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It just it means that my stats was not good enough. And you know, 8,175 HP is very low for Florentia. 9,000 is the, the, you know, the industry average, if you, you want to call it that. So I thought I had the kill, but unfortunately, no. So with that, I thought I could have, you know, get a trade, but end up losing Lickris for nothing. Because she's going to heal him right back up. Okay, and, and right now, Yulia still has Gospel. So, but, but the good thing about that AoE earlier is that... I actually gave the debuff of damage doubt decrease by 20% and it took a whole chunk of his life. So that's the reason why he decided not to come in and hit one of my characters and to retreat it. Because I'm pretty, much, pretty sure he wanted to get rid of this before he did anything. Because with, without full life and yeah, he wasn't going to do much. Alright. Okay. So now, my turn. Betty comes in. That's for 3C. Good, decent damage, didn't kill anybody, but the the RNG luck right there is the clock. That's crucial. Because of what happened the next, well, after this, later on. She, was, she had gospel, so she didn't get the heal block. But Liana did get the heal block, so Jugga was able to come in and finish her off, which was great. But unfortunately, now Yulia comes in and get a free kill on Zarida. And because I act again first next turn, this is when I can take advantage. And also now the gospel is done with Yulia. So because of that, the, the clock 3C on Betty is going to be able to give her a heal block and then finish off Florentia. So now I'm in advantage, right? So she had to retreat because she, and this is also very weird. So let me just take a look at what happened here. So I had, uh, I couldn't stop it in time, but uh, this also, um, that, this was a payback. <laughs> this was, was a payback, but let's take a look at what happened here? I was very confused. So, what the heck happened? She have only 857 defense. Right? I couldn't see. Oh, he had that. Damage taken minus 20%. He must have been a random buff. And then, of course, the Stone Colossus also have when it's below, when the Soldier is below 7, damage taken is below, uh, is decreased by 30. So 30 plus 20 is 50. And then I think Hilda's talent is by 20. So 70%. 70%. So even with a 3000 attack B Shock, I only did 3000 attack damage to the soldier that's just crazy but here broke right it did break my 
100% HP, but I, I live with 516 and you know, I'm just so happy is because I felt like it was a payback for the Florentia miss kill earlier. Um, but I think the reason why Warner failed the kill is because he got this damage deal de decreased by 20%, which was the uh, proc of the Tenyo robe. So again, another RNG. So the first good RNG was clock on Betty, and then the second RNG is clock, um, not the clock, but the Tenyo uh, robe proc, which allow her to live. And basically now at this point, I have a healer, I have a tank, I have a DPS and because of turn order, Betty's going to be able to kill off Warner and now I'm in total advantage. Yulia is still very deadly. However, I'm going to get more good RNG on my side and you'll see why and that's the reason why you want you have Betty on your side. Here comes Yulia, attacks me, he was back up and guess what? Guess what? A heal reversal. A heal reversal on Yulia is a death sentence. Basically, no matter what you do, you're gonna heal yourself and you're just gonna kill yourself. So, yeah, it, it was a very tough fight. It was. It could have gone really bad, but with a couple good RNG on my side, I was able to beat Dango on the Yashua account and made my way to playoffs and unfortunately uh, as you can see off of my playoff um, match i did horrible 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 due to you know my own circumstances and i'm not going to use you know say any excuse for that but i i guess we just got to try harder next season but yeah i hope you enjoyed the fights it was definitely very exciting uh, as the, the the opponents were very strong so I was literally at the edge of my seat as I was going through the fights and and I just didn't have enough time. Right? It was the last slot and uh, right when I beat the last opponent, I think family woke up and that was it. That was it. I had to stop playing. I couldn't do it anymore. So anyways, all fun and games, all fun and games. Do you have a couple more matches I want to share? Um, as I uh, you know in this past two weeks, but I think we'll stop here for today uh, You know feel free to share and leave your comments below I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will be uh, working on And I have burn here uh, because I'll be working on the Burn how to build guide getting ready for his 3c and also show off um, not show off per se, but to um, to show the gears that I'm going to be prepared to use and how I got I swear like I think I got all my luck on the on my enchants for the past six months It was just horrible horrible and then I think I got one good streak of enchants for him and I'm actually extremely pleased with the results and would love to share that next week with you anyways enough with me rambling hope you enjoyed the games and look forward to chatting with you all on discord and oh and one last thing uh, our guild is actually recruiting so right now we have 47 out of 50 uh, we do have three slots open we have a whole bunch of uh you know players who like who likes to pvp as well as um some pve content and of course, we also have Air, who is another uh, content creator. Uh, you might have seen some of his, um, you know, content on YouTube as well. So, uh, love uh, it for you to join us. Um, hope you like uh, PVE and you know you like to Apex and PVP as well. Love to have a little chat. Uh, we are looking for someone um, who are who is level seventy and. Um, you know willing to put in some effort especially with the new guild event coming up soon i guess that's it really that's it this time <laughs> all right take care and aloha